Okay, so I wanted to talk about something I don't see spoken a lot about in passing. That is that um, there's a relation between smoking cigarettes and depression. A lot of people don't realize this, but um, Wellbutrin and nicotine actually have a relation. Um, they act on some of the same neuroreceptors in the brain. So people who smoke who are depressed um, actually might be using it to self-medicate without realizing it too. Um, I noticed this because <laughs> one time when I tried smoking, um, when I hadn't taken my antidepressant, um, I felt similar effects to it and I was like, wait a second, what's going on here? And then I did some research and looked into it. And so it turns out those same neuroreceptors that are being targeted when you smoke that cause the fe feeling of wellness or um, I guess the buzz of nicotine that's so notorious are a lot of the same receptors that are related to addiction and depression. Because in depression you have a hard time finding meaning or finding I don't know, something you care about, I guess. It's a little bit complicated to explain just up front, but um, if you're somebody who smokes a lot, have you ever considered that maybe the reason you do it is because you're treating depression without realizing it? I think it's true for more people then, I don't know, the medical community acknowledges. And since I haven't really seen it around, I thought I might as well bring it up.